I've got my new book out. Uh, I don't know if you've seen it or not, you probably haven't. But uh, it's all a bit strange because it was never part of my plan to bring a book out. But now that it's all happened, it's, it's all a bit of a worry, really. It's a bit weird, you know, I don't sort of consider myself a proper author. You know what I mean? When you sort of think about authors, you just think about brainy people and, you know, people who are good with words and that, and I'm not. It's called Happy Slap by a Jellyfish. I know, I don't know what I was thinking, to be honest, but uh, it's too late to change it now. He's an idiot. He shouldn't have a book out. Is there, is... I mean, that's, that's why it's weird. It, I mean, he's never read a book. He didn't go to school, but he wandered around experiencing stuff. I don't think they have my book in here. This isn't the sort of place they'd, uh, they'd bother with mine. Well, it's about holidays. My book's about holidays, and I've been on quite a lot of holidays. Um, the girlfriend's always booking them. I don't really want to go most of the time, but she books them and I don't want to be left on my own at home, so I tend to just get dragged along. It's just a book for everything, isn't it? Everything's been written about years ago. Write about anything. Has anyone written about it before? No, they haven't. Whereas now, look, what are the chances of coming up with something new? My book might annoy other authors, not people, for authors because I'm, I'm sort of joining their club. Do you know what I mean? And, and do they want me as a member? I thought, well, there's only one way to find out. You know, go along to Cheltenham Book Festival. It's, it's one of the biggest book festivals in the world. All the big authors go there, all sort of talking about the new books and things. So I thought I'd take mine along, get a bit of advice. So you think if you saw that on the shelf, would you sort of go, I'd oh, that shop looks interesting? Lift it. Yeah, I would. <laughs> it's not so much, uh, you know, what the critical reception of your book is, it's, it's how, many fo how many units it shifts. You're, you're sort of measured by the yard, really, in terms of... And that's books laid flat, that's not one on top of the other. It's books flat. When you're bringing a book out, the publishers say to you, uh, right, we're looking at about 224 pages you've got to fill. So straight away, that's like, oh, how big's the font? One way to fill all the pages, you know, without having to write stuff, is uh, she use pictures. When I'm going on about Lanzarote just, you know, being this sort of grey, horrible place, they'll sort of go, it's not that bad. But if you show them a picture, they'll go, God, he's not kidding. And it is grim. The woman on the coach trip said that's where they filmed Planet of the Apes. I don't know if she was lying. But, uh, but kind of like, you know, so what? Do you know what I mean? Planet of the Apes, it's a good film, but I never watched it and thought, oh, I'd like to go there on holiday. At the risk of sounding pretentious, I think a true artist sees the world differently, and Carl sees the world differently to everyone else. You know, it, he sees something that you don't see. I haven't got loads of qualifications. You know, if they read this book, they'll see that there's not many long words in it. Right. And they'll just be... They, I don't Happy think... Happy slapped is, is one of the longest words I've ever seen on the front of a book. First of all, don't care what other authors think anyway. It doesn't actually well, matter. It's natural, though, isn't it? You well, sort well, of, I you don't do. know. I don't know. You know, what you, want, what you want is readers. Did your editor at any point say, Carl, that word is just too long to be on the front of a book? <laughs> As is the word Pilkington, which... But I've got to have my name on it. Because it's been worth coming down here, just because I've seen, you know, how much work is involved being with, you know, being an author. Uh, it's not just about writing it all out, you've then got to push it. Might as well be working on a market, really, look at it. These are all the people coming in to buy it. I don't know where he'll go on holiday. You know what I mean? He's been about a bit. Thanks a lot. It's just uh, one of the sea. Which, you know, I do like the sea, I like walking by it and everything, but you, you wouldn't get me going in it. I went away on holiday one year and was, I was stung by a, by a jellyfish. There I was minding my own business, and this jellyfish just... just I, I didn't see it coming, just grabbed my foot, stung it, disappeared again. I'd done nothing wrong. 
I suppose one thing I learned here was that, you know, doing book signings and that, it, it's a good way to to meet your fans, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? I mean, look at, look at Michael there, he's, he's loving it. Loads of people are into what he's doing. His key is a bit bigger than mine. Not quite sure it's working for me just yet, though. The fact of the matter is, you know, 2% of people sell at any one publisher and the other 98% don't. And so the people that sell, like Jordan and Jodie Picco and people like that, support everybody else. I wouldn't feel guilty about that because they're raking it in, so who cares, you know? Now, I think any opportunity to publish a book, take it. I genuinely don't know if he knows what he's doing or if it's intuitive, but it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. It's just funny. There's nothing like this, isn't it? I think it's great. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Don't even know what that is. Happy Slap by a Jellyfish and Flanimals, still available, award winning. Sort of. No. Looks alright, like.